All right, so you're a Pixel Dojo user, but you don't know how to upload or use third-party LoRa files. Let me show you a couple tricks that are going to make this super simple for you. Now, the first thing is, what is a LoRa? Well, it's a way that you can teach an AI model how to create images of a different person, style, or object. And we've got a couple of really cool things here at Pixel Dojo. We've got Flux, Quen, all these different AI image and video models, and a lot of these support LoRa's. So now the easiest way to go about this is just go down to the model training section, and then you can just create a new Flux, Quen, or SDXL, LoRa. I've got this wizard built into the site that steps you through the entire process. That's the easiest way, but in some cases, you might want to use a LoRa from another site like Civit AI or Hugging Face. That's what we're going to focus in on today. So in order to do that, and why would you want to do this? Well, let's say you're using WAN 2.2 video. This is a new video model that's able to produce some really cool outputs. And one of the things it supports is LoRa's. So we'll go ahead and the first thing you'll need is obviously a Pixel Dojo account. You're also going to need a free Hugging Face account. So go on over and sign up on Hugging Face. And then you're also, if you're using a Civit AI model, you're going to want a free account over on Civit AI. Now in this case, we're going to use the Instagirl WAN 2.2 video LoRa model. It's over on Civit AI. You can see over here, once you're signed in, when you go to the model page, you'll see this download link. Go ahead and click on that. That's going to download the LoRa model but it's going to download it as a zip file. So you're going to need to take that and you're going to need to unzip it. In order to use the LoRa with Pixel Dojo, it needs to be a safe tensors file. This is an uncompressed file. You're, you're going to find this inside of that zip file. So once you take that, you open it, uncompress it, just save that somewhere on your computer. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go jump on over to Hugging Face. And what you do here is anywhere on here, you're going to jump up to this upper right hand corner and you're just going to select new model. This is going to take you to this page where you can create a new model repository. And we're just going to name this, we'll say Instagirl2. Don't need to worry about a license, but you do need to make sure that it's a public model. Otherwise, Pixel Dojo is not going to be able to use it. So create your model once you've got public selected. And this is it. You're going to be dropped into here. Now, the next thing you need to do is drop into Files and Versions. And then there's this Contribute button over here on the right-hand side. Click that and just click on Upload Files. Now, you can either drag and drop them or browse from your computer. We're going to go ahead and browse. And we're going to find the zip file that we had earlier that we uncompressed already. And that's going to have a number of different files in it. In this case, it has four. You can see here we've got uh, Instagirl 2.3 low safe tensors, high safe tensors, a workflow file, and a terms of use file. Now the workflow and the terms of use we don't really need, so we could actually get rid of both of those. And we could just keep these high and low safe tensors files. These are the LoRa files that actually tell the model how it needs to be used. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and just down here commit changes to main. And you can see that's uploading the files. This is going to take just a couple minutes, depending on the speed of your internet. Should be pretty painless, though. Cool. Now, once that's done, you can see here you've got your model card. So this is my screen name. This is the Instagirl 2 model that we created. And then you've got the two files here. Now, what you do from here is you actually click on one of the files. So we'll click on the low safe tensors. And that takes you to this page where you can copy the download link. So click copy download link. You see that it copied. This is what we need over on Pixel Dojo. So we'll jump on over back to Pixel Dojo and we'll head on up to the My LoRa Models section. Go ahead and click on Upload LoRa Model. And in the drop down, select whatever it is. If it's Flux, select Flux, Gwen, WAN, whatever. In this case, it's WAN. LoRa name, we'll call it Instagirl2. Token string. Now, this is really important. A lot of these models have a specific token that triggers 
the model, the AI model, to actually produce the types of images or videos that the LoRa was trained to produce. So in this case, if we look at the README file, so we go back over to Civit AI, we can see example prompt structure, the trigger is Instagirl. So we want to make sure that that's in there. So we'll go ahead and put that in the token string like that. Default prompt, this is just helpful if you want to remember the structure of a prompt for this. It is a style LoRa. It doesn't really matter. This is just for classification. And then provide a model URL. This is that model URL that we just grabbed from Hugging Face. And you can see it ends in dot safe tensors. Super important. Now you upload to Hugging Face. We don't need to do that because it's already on Hugging Face. So we'll click save. And that's going to save it directly to our system here. Now you can upload a thumbnail for it by clicking over here, finding a file on your computer that you like, and go ahead and upload that. And that's going to give it a nice picture for it. So now you've got this, it's all structured, it's all uploaded, everything's set to go. The only thing left to do is generate something with it. So we'll go over to WAN 2.2 video, and you can see this little icon here of the character, click on that. That's going to load up all of your LoRa models. We've got Instagirl 2 that we just uploaded. Click on it. That adds it over here. It also adds our trigger word to the prompt. And all you have to do is click Generate Video. And you've got a video generated with your LoRa. Same thing works for the image models and everything else on Pixel Dojo. Doesn't get any easier than that. Hit me up if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks.